Hi, I'm Dr. Sunil at Southeast Veterinary Neurology, and today we're talking about strokes in pets. It was once thought that strokes only occur in humans, but small animal cerebrovascular accidents are being diagnosed more often today due to the increased availability of pet MRIs. It turns out that strokes are pretty common in our small animal friends, so it's important to recognize the signs. Strokes occur suddenly without any warning signs, and they should not be painful, but can cause an abrupt and severe onset of symptoms. Symptoms depend on the area of the nervous system where the stroke has occurred. Symptoms of a stroke in a pet's forebrain include walking in circles, seizures, behavioral changes, head pressing, blindness. Symptoms of a stroke in the brainstem and or the cerebellum include poor balance, vomiting, nystagmus or abnormal eye movements, weakness on one side of the body, high stepping, head tremors, severe mentation changes or changes in the consciousness, acute circling or spinning. Just like in people, strokes in pets occur either when the blood flow to part of the brain is obstructed, which is known as an ischemic stroke, or when a blood vessel bursts and deprives nerve cells of oxygen, which is a hemorrhagic stroke. Strokes generally occur in older pets and are often secondary to a chronic metabolic disorder. Cases of an ischemic strokes are often secondary to hypothyroidism, renal disease, Cushing's disease, neoplasia, or cardiac disease. While cases of hemorrhagic strokes are often secondary to clotting disorders, metastatic cancer, and toxins. However, about 50% of strokes in dogs have no identifiable underlying cause. It is also worth noting that some dog breeds are much more prone to strokes, such as the Greyhounds and Mini Schnauzers. The first step to treating strokes is an early and accurate diagnosis. Baseline blood work is required, including hematology, biochemistry profile, and sometimes coagulation testing. MRI is the best test to diagnose a stroke. MRI can assess restriction of blood flow, and depending on the size of the patient, it can identify abnormal blood vessels in the brain. MRI can also evaluate for blood breakdown products to identify hemorrhagic strokes. CT scans may sometimes show a lesion, especially with hemorrhagic strokes. However, CT is less detailed than MRI when looking at soft tissues, making it more difficult to differentiate some strokes from a brain tumor. That is the major flaw of a CT for imaging the brain. Accurate diagnosis is critical as treatment and prognosis for cancers and strokes are very different. Once a diagnosis of a stroke is reached, further testing is recommended to find the underlying cause. This may include further blood work and abdominal ultrasound, urinalysis, coagulation profiles, thyroid testing, and blood pressure testing. Stroke treatments in pets involves treating an underlying metabolic disease, blood thinners, and supportive care. Options for treating strokes vary depending on the underlying cause and the severity of the stroke. Even patients with dramatic symptoms can make excellent recoveries. An accurate diagnosis, finding an underlying cause, supportive care, and physical rehabilitation are all critical to your pet's prognosis. Recovery from a stroke depends on the stroke's severity and underlying conditions. Many pets will start to improve within a few weeks, while others need more time. In roughly 50% of the cases with no identifiable cause of a stroke, subsequent strokes are less likely to occur. The other 50% will likely have one again, at some point, if there's an underlying cause that is driving the strokes forward. However, since dogs and cats are rather resilient in their ability to deal with these injuries, long-term stroke prognosis is generally good, especially in those that are treated early and given the supportive care they need. If your pet is showing symptoms of a stroke, such as circling, behavioral changes, seizures, head pressing, blindness, loss of balance, or loss of motor function, we strongly recommend you see a veterinary neurologist as soon as possible to give your pet the best chance of recovery. As always, Southeast Veterinary Neurology is always here to help.